more, you had the, the primary school and then there was the, the school. And the primary school as such was a, an all-age council school. Yeah. Children started when they were about four and a half to five and left when they were 14 to 15, right, yes. according to what they wanted. Now the other school in the high street school. Well, there was oh, Miss yeah. Richards, that was a private school. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, the Wesleyan Methodist School, which is where, what's her name's got the um, antique business up Church Street, that yeah, was an all yes. um, a boys and girls, yeah. but that was chapel. Mm. What but about the ne one next to High Mighty? That was the predecessor of the one along here. Oh, that was the old National School. The old national, I thought so. That's right, yeah. that took all ages yes. um, until it, didn't, it wasn't big enough. And then they built this one along here. But they did go on a certain class or something, didn't they, after this one was built? I think so, on the main system. How do you mean certain classes? Well, they, they had some, whether they were um, sort of further education or whatever you call it in those days. Oh, at Uni School? Mm. Yes. Yeah. Overflow from the John Gaunt because it didn't have enough uh -huh. room. I see. Yes. But that was only like yoga. So they did, you have a good one. Yes. Mm. Yes, well, it's um, brilliant. Anything else you can remember? Can there's anything else you want to ask us? <laughs> well, I think I've gone through my list, but maybe you've got the answer. We've gone through, picked holes from your You'll find that uh, my screed in there about the school will tell you practically everything you wish to know about it. Mm -hmm. And the bit about Eddington overflows into Hungerford a little bit, but it's mainly about Eddington because Eddington was a complete village yes. on its own. I mean, it had uh, grocery, shoe snob, blacksmith, carpenters, farm, mill, post office, off license. The only thing that we really needed to come into Hungerford to buy was fruit and clothes. Go on. You could buy everything else you wanted in the village. Go on about Eddington. You know where we used to live? Oh, hang on. Don't Dad. didn't we? You could know nor um, Norman's houses. Yeah. Used to be, they said that used to be a pub years ago. There were a couple of little pubs in Eddington. There was the one, that's right, where you lived, yeah. and the one, the thatch cottage on the corner. Because uh, there used to be a lot of things over it, the yes, top. Right, yes. Never yes. found out what all it was. Well, that thing over the top was supposed to hold a bush. Uh, never found which was the advertising for hail. Hmm. Never found no money or nothing in I it. I bet you didn't. <laughs> Because Freddie Brooks had his shoe snobs uh, business there, didn't he, That's before right. he moved along to uh, yeah. Charm Street. That's true, huh? Yes. Yes. Betty Van yeah. yeah. You'll yeah. find lots of pictures of Eddington in that yeah. lot of money. Don't yeah. lose them, for God's sake, will you? Why do I have a car in the house? No, I hope oh, no. Don't. <laughs> I mean, Betty Did you have one of those? Yeah, I did see it at the time. Oh, you, you did? did see yeah. It. yeah. Betty Wink, she used to live there in there. Yeah, she had her shop on the... Emily oh, and Betty. Yes, that's yeah. right. And that, of course, had the facilities for making um, that bread. And that was also an off license. Well, of course, you wouldn't be very interested in the church because you're chapel. Yeah. Really, I don't know about anti <laughs> or not church. I don't <laughs> like church. About which church do you want to know about? Well, there was... I mean... It was, there was three vicars, because there was, there was... There was a vicar and two, uh, one rector and a Salvation Army chaplain. Oh, right. But didn't they have a curate for St. Saviour's? Yes. And then there was Newtown. Did they have a separate vicar? No, no, no. The curate for, of Meddington used to deal with Newtown. Uh -huh. And the first one I can remember was Bob Denning. Mm -hmm. He used to fill the church to overflowing. Great sportsman. Played football, played cricket. And um, what did the 
Reverend Cotto, then. What was the church? Who? Cotto? Cotto. Oh, oh, yes. He's a Roman. He was a Roman. He was. He was the curate down at Eddington for several years. Yes. Yes, we had a succession. Yeah. But then, of course, I mean, when Danny was down there, they had the usual run of the mill services, evening matins, communion, and so forth. They also had Sunday school twice a day, twice on a Sunday. And at the back of what used to be my father's old workshop down in Eddington, the second building, which was only corrugated wood, had the label school on it. Oh, I don't know whether they had a private school, in, you know, individually down mm -hmm. there, or whether it was um, an overflow from the church, but it was definitely used as a school at some time or other. And what happened to the church? Well, it deteriorated so badly that they had to close it. And then they sold it, and it's now a private house. Where is it? Mm -hmm. When was that? Mm -hmm. Early, late 1970s. 